Hello and welcome back to The Note. Now we've had a day of very high drama on the bond market, a very impressive sell-off there, and we've had a very boring day on the stock market with prices rising somewhat and the VIX volatility index actually falling. I would like to argue that that latter, the boring day on the equity market, is actually very worrying. Now, to take a look at uh, what's happened in bonds, let's first of all take a look at the 10-year uh, German Bund. A quite remarkable rise in Bund yields, now up 16 basis points of the day, retraced all of what had happened in the last six months. We heard from Mario Draghi of the ECB uh, today. He wanted to make clear that people should get used to extra volatility in the bond market. People are basically running away uh, from the deflation trade at this point. Very unclear what to make of the fact that uh, the ECB has now embarked on QE. Heightened uncertainty there. You also see that in US Treasuries. To give you an idea of where we might have reached, let's take a look at the uh, uh, German Bund, the 10-year Bund, the total return you'd have made on that. This is using the uh, Bloomberg EFA index. And compare it to um, the S&P. What we're looking at here is how Bunds have done over the last 15 years and how the S&P did in the 15 years up to the epic bust of uh, early 2000. This certainly looks like a classic equity market top that has finally been reached here with Bunds. There is a sense that uh, psychology that people had long believed has finally been punctured. That may not turn out to be true, but that's what it looks like at the moment. In that context, the fact that stocks don't seem to have registered this at all today is quite alarming. Uh, I'd like to close by suggesting that we should perhaps liken this to a brontosaurus. This is an analogy that Jeremy Grantham, a very famous investor, made to me back in 2007 in the early days of the credit crisis. The equity market is like a brontosaurus which if you hurt it, if you hit it on its tail, it would take it a very long time for that pain to register in its pea-sized brain. In the same way, it will, can take the equity market an extremely long time to register that something very nasty has happened in bonds or some other market. Very disturbingly, whenever bond markets and equity markets disagree about something, it tends ultimately to be the bond market that's proved right.